What's going on, Dan? I know you've mentioned a couple times, you know, back in a packed arena and how excited you are for that. I mean, is that, is that really like a special feel for you? Does it add something to it for you? Yeah, uh, it really does. You know, it's been almost about two years now. I think my last fight with fans was February, Mirsad Bektik, February 2020. So, um, yeah, I've had four fights with no fans. Kind of got used to that for a little bit, but um, excited to get back to it, you know, just have a packed arena, screaming fans and electric energy. I know you're disappointed with the result in June, but uh, big fight, you know, big, big moment. Lessons you take out of that as far as moving forward? Yeah, I mean, I guess I was disappointed at the time, but, you know, looking at it now, like, it's a good thing. You know, it was a good thing for me to go through that and feel that and, like, just – it was a crazy learning experience, you know, going through my first fight camp, being a, a new dad and trying to figure everything out, force motivation, do all this all crazy stuff. So, like, I went into that fight, you know, I forced a lot of things. I forced motivation using my son. I forced, I tried to force a knockout. I tried to go out there and make something happen, and it didn't happen the way I wanted it to. So... You know, going back and looking at it, there was a lot of takeaways, and um, I believe I'm an improved person, and I'm an improved fighter, and, uh, you know, I'm just in this to be better. Nice. Uh, if I, how do you evaluate Josh as an opponent, right, especially with the lengthy layoff? Does that change the way you game plan for somebody, knowing that, I mean, they could, I don't know, how, how different they would be 18 months later? Yeah, I mean, I'm expecting Josh to come in at his best. Uh, you know, 18 months, like, like you said, that's a long time off, but that's a long time to get better as well. So I know he's dealt with some issues with his knees and injuries, but, you know, that doesn't mean he, he wasn't out there working and training and working on things he maybe wouldn't normally work on because of his injuries. So, you know, I expect him to be sharp, be fast, be at his best. And, um, you know, he's a hard hitter, so he's going to go out there and, you know, make it a fun fight and as well as myself, and I, I think it's going to be a, a crazy, entertaining fight for everyone. No doubt. Last thing for me, you win here. I mean, talk to me about the goals right now. Like, do you worry about where you sit in the rankings, or is it better to maybe just step back for a little while and, and, and not focus on those things as much? Yeah, I mean, my, my main thing I'm focused on right now is getting wins again. You know, it doesn't really matter who, who I just want to build, build that streak again because I think – wins speak more than anything and uh you know when i was on a six fight winning streak i had all the heat and hype behind me and then i took a loss and it's like okay you lost like who are you now like it doesn't matter anything you do after that so i i don't know i'm just in this to try to go back and you know get some wins on the board before we start talking about bigger things and right here. Uh, I saw an interview with Josh, and originally he thought he was going to be fighting Arnold Allen before Arnold couldn't get cleared. And he says that fans are probably more excited for his fight against you than it, they would be against Arnold Allen. Uh, do you kind of get the sense, too, that like you've kind of become this fighter that fans don't want to miss now? Uh, I mean, 100%. I mean, I think any of you guys would much rather watch Danny Gay versus Josh Emmett than Dan Josh Emmett versus Arnold Allen. It's just a more appealing fight, you know, and we're – we're not even on the main card and we're our fights getting talked about you know i don't know more than any fight on the card but a lot you know it's getting a lot of hype around it so um i don't know i feel like that seems to be the case though like with all my last fights like in every one of dana's if you don't know now you know videos it's like my name's getting dropped 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 it's because i always bring it josh brings it it's going to be a great fight